Welcome everybody to Let's Play Besiege. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. Uh. Alright, I had to turn it so Whatever. So, this is. Oh. This is such a. Just a little preview of what the game has to offer. Um, Besiege is pretty much a. Self construction game or a. Oh, wow. I guess I am almost done. Is um, a construction game of build your own weapon, siege weapon. Um, gives you different uh, scenarios involving having to either destroy stuff or um, bring stuff to a certain location. And so far, it's been really cool. I played it quite a bit so far, and I'm happy with it. It is really cool to play. You can pretty much build anything that you can imagine to a limit of this box right here. I mean, you can remove the box. See, you got free build mode, disable bounding box. Um, you cannot progress through the levels by doing this, but you can be, get more creative while doing so. And there's also another setting, pyro. Burn objects on click prevents level prog <laughs> progression. And I think this one, yeah, it makes your machine invisible. Invincible. <laughs> If it was invisible, you wouldn't know what was going on, how would you? So for this, let's just create a simple, I don't know, cannon. I didn't mean to do that. And there are many different tools for you to be able to craft your tool or weapon of max destruction. you got your simple building tools right here. you got small wooden block, regular size wooden block. Gosh darn it, can I please have this? Here's your simple wooden block. It's really nice, as you can see. I mean... I think they did really good on it, and from the time I've played it, it's definitely really fun to play. Go to create your own thing. Let's put a tiny little wooden block here. I guess make it even a little bit. <clears throat> if I did that, I guess it would make much wouldn't make much difference. No, can you tell if it's two small ones? Kind of. Kind of. I don't know. Anyway, back to what I was doing. We're gonna create a simple weapon. For destroying this tiny little house and those sheep if you want to now be aware this game is a little gory a little decently gory the blood is vast imagine the amount of call of duty blood and then mix it with i don't know gears of war blood somewhere in between that more from call of duty but less from gears of war i don't know what i'm talking about so let's just build some shit so I don't know if cannons can destroy this, but we'll build a cannon weapon. Simple cannon weapon. Translate machine. A little bit. Alright, we'll do two rows of three. <clears throat> you can do a lot to your, your machine. And physics are applied here. Are applied. And that's what... It makes it a little harder because... If your machine is really heavy, it can prevent it from... I don't know how to say it. It can reduce the amount of shock created from cannons. Because <clears throat> the cannons, if there's a lot of them on a single strip, it'll cause a lot of force and cause the machine to flip back a lot. I actually have a machine saved. I don't want to show it off just yet. But I have a machine saved that once fired... If I removed all the backing off of it, it would just fly backward, and it's hilarious. Or if you created a catapult and it's very light, it'll flip forward. So physics are applied here, and I deem them as very amazing. Let's put it here. I was going to do three, but... Whatever! You can add whatever you want to your machine. Add a flamethrower. Why not? Okay. Oh, alright. I don't know where... Excuse me. I don't use the flamethrower. I haven't used it. So, I wouldn't know. Alright. Oops. Alright. Eh, should we create a second one? Why not? Let's create a second set of cannons. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Oops. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. <clears throat> boom, 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 
boom. There are some scenarios too where hold on, let's try to center on this villager. Where and it, like there are people like this. Little AI like well, he's not touching the ground. Little AI is like this. Um, some are knights that'll actually try to defend what you're trying to destroy and if they get near you or if they start shooting arrows at you, it can damage your machine. Oops. It can damage your machine and destroy the wood on the blocks. So, as all good connoisseur of weapons, where is it? There it is. You can put some metal plating on it. There is no need for us to do this because that little villager ain't gonna do jack shit to me. But, it makes it look cooler. Oh, it does look pretty tight. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was doing. Weapons. Put some cannons on this bitch. Alright. If we wanted to, we can also add some wheels. That way it can be a little mobile. Why not? But if you feel your cannon's going to get too much shock, you can also brace it. I was looking right at the braces. No, they're not here. Where are they? Alright, they're under the blocks. No. Okay. Now, this isn't really what the braces are for, but it does keep your machine together as much as it can. As much as we want it to be. Now, I'm not going to go through bracing everything. Just going to give a little preview to what can be done. To brace more, but that would take too much time, so let's not. <clears throat> but to prevent it from falling back too much. Can we? Okay, there we go. Alright. Now, the logic would state that this is something we would brace. Well, we'll do that real quick. Now, creating machines can be easy, but some require some extra thought in the process of creating machines. Actually, I think I could probably move those wheels back just, just a little bit. Or, just keep them off, period. That way it'll give your uh, cannons just a little bit of height. That way they can get some range on them. But, we don't need range. The house is right there. In fact, we could probably move this fucker right up close to the house and just knock it from the So let's set this on the ground. And you can also change the time, too. Make it slower or faster. Let's just do standard time for now. Alright. I think we're ready. Ah, I forget. Wait, I think it's C. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's slow it down to 25%. 25, okay. I'll watch this. Target the house. Zoom out a little bit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll just stay targeting the machine. Ready? Is it gone? Okay, sorry. That right there is what I like to call very destructive. It tells you how many blocks you used, how long it took you to do it. I think it tells you how long it took for it to be completed, period, not how long it took you to build. <clears throat> if you wanted to time yourself on that, get a stopwatch thing on it. But I think we should try at an even slower pace, just just so we can try. Yep, we can target one of these. You just see everything that goes on with it. Target this one. Oh no, the sheep. Yeah, there's a bit of blood there. <laughs> oh no, one sheep. Nope, he didn't survive. And then we'll speed that back up to normal. Pretty cool. Alright, let's do the next zone, and that's all I'm going to show off. Because I, I don't want to show too much. don't want to show too much here. Now, this is the same basic thing. We could probably use the same th the same vehicle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save... Oh, no, don't look! Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Let's just call it cannon fodder. Why not? Alright, I'll destroy this mofo. It was nothing to me. Now, let's create a... <laughs> let's create a simple catapult. I'm going to create one that I like. I, I created one. Actually, you know what? I'll just show off mine. That way, it'll make it a little shorter, make it easier and simpler to watch. That way, 
when this is all done, you can go check out the game. Because this game definitely is pretty cool. I won't show off the flight mechanics too much because I haven't figured them out yet. So I don't want to say something and be like, oh, I'm wrong. But I will load my Siege Dancer. Now, I made this really weird. This is my version of a catapult. I did this so incorrectly. Because I know there's many other ways to do it. But I like this one. Oh, that's right. It's orientation's all jacked up. Oops. Oops. There we go. Get back a little bit. I have two springs. I don't know why. This this is my catapult. I made it in one uh, a later on mission. <clears throat> you guys will see it when you play the game. You guys got to play it. You do. So we'll do regular speed. Uh, do it so I don't check up. All right, contractible spring L. This is what I did. I created it that way. When you held L and the springs contract, they come together, forcing this up, like so. I mean, I thought oh, way too hard on the creation of this, but I think it's really cool. Personally, I think it's really cool. Now, let's say we go down to 25% again. Ready? You see where all the physics come into play. All the physics just pop into place. Now let's try to target the ball. To get a first... Uh, did it? Ah! Oh, Haha! <laughs> oops. You gotta let it set sometimes, because if you do it too soon, I don't know what happens, but right here, just hits the ball. It doesn't let it sit into place. Just whacks the ball. Thunk. You gotta wait for it. And slow motion makes that a lot harder to do. There we go. I forgot to target the ball. So, I know. I'm just so cool. Is it targeted? Nope. We aren't targeting the ball. We're just looking. Look at that. Look at that nothing that's right there. <laughs> Hold on. I can target the ball. I know I can. Or just go super slow mo. Or zero. <clears throat> ah, because it's so slow motion. Right, wait for it to set. And it's set. It's not set, but why not show this off too? It can be very destructive at sometimes. What the f just fell off? Oh, <laughs> it fell. <laughs> All right. Oh, what is that? Fire's playing into play too. Oh my goodness. Yes, that is also a thing. If your if your uh, machine catches on fire. Destructive, as you can see. It burned my shit to a crisp. I, I wanted to target the ball, but you know what? For now, I think it was pretty good preview. Let's try one more time to target this ball. Right, you know what? I'll let it set into play. Alright, it's set. What are we? Okay. We won. I don't know what happened. I don't. Uh. What did I target? What? Okay, well. Did I target the sky? So this one linky time. I don't know what happened there. There it goes. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can't. Nope! Let's blow stuff up again. Alright! Well, that was as much of a preview as I want to give. I mean, I'll def I'm gonna def definitely do some uh, gameplay on it because this is a really cool game. I mean, you can get very creative. I've seen a lot of people get very, very creative with their machines, and you can craft, craft, create almost anything that you can set your mind to create. You got motor wheels. You got the decoupler, which de deconnects stuff. It's like, hold on. Oh, I could do that. Hold on. I'll tell. You. I'll, I'll show. It keeps what that does. I don't want to erase everything. Uh, I'm just gonna put two mechanics on myself. Press J to disconnect. Watch what happens. We'll target this. All right. 
And J to disconnect. Disconnects them just like it would. That still made it somehow. Well, that's as much of a crazy as I kind of want to get, but you got new stuff. You got grabber, spinning block, and it does exactly what it says it does. It spins. Who would put that in the machine? I don't know, but I guess you could put, um... Oh, I guess you could do that. I never thought about that, actually. I don't want to do it, just because I thought of it. Intersection? Oh, okay. Well, I'll just... I guess we'll just put it right here. Right. Weaponry. Yes, you get some some messed up weapons. So just put that... Roll. Gotta rotate that bitch. R. 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 Delete. Forgot to rotate it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Can't do it, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll show off what this does. Just standard speed. And there you go. Spinning blade of doom, and that one's still there. <laughs> oh wait, is it J? Clink. <laughs> this is besieged. <laughs> so hope you enjoy this little preview. Um, don't forget to check out the other posts on RGN. This is the Boycott Gamer, signing off.